Hello everybody and welcome back to P's and G's. It's so great to see you again this week. Super excited for our final video and we're looking at the idea of prayer and what that means. So to start with, we're going to have our Bible reading followed by a talk from Helen, then a prayer walk, which some of you might be able to do at home. And then finally, we're going to have an activity video. So I'm going to pass you over to the rest of the team. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you all very soon. Hello, today's reading is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honoured, just as it was with you. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not everyone has faith. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. We have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do the things we command. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers, to keep away from every brother who is idle and does not live according to the teaching you receive from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, labouring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this, not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to make ourselves a model for you to follow. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule, if a man will not work, he shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle, they are not busy, they are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the bread they eat. And as for you, brothers, never tire of doing what is right. If anyone does not obey our instruction in this letter, take special note of him. Do not associate with him in order that he may feel ashamed. Yet do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguishing mark in all my letters. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. So this week we're going to speak about praying. And I just thought before we kind of talk about specifics and before you see what you might be able to do, like going on a prayer walk or something like that, we might just talk about four things. And that is when we pray, where we might pray, how we pray, and also why we pray. So, when should we pray? There's lots of different times we might pray. Sometimes we might pray first thing in the morning. Sometimes that's really great to be able to get the day going and start by talking to God. So the very first thing we do, we wake up, wipe our eyes and maybe say a little prayer. Or sometimes we might say a prayer when we need a bit of help and we're a bit stuck. And that's sometimes called a please prayer. And it's a way of asking God to help us and saying, please, can you do this thing? Or can you help me with this thing? Sometimes we might say a prayer when something great happens. And that might be a thank you prayer. So something brilliant might have happened. You might have had a really good day or you might have won a game or you might have um, come across a really great place to play. And so we might want to say thank you to God for helping us do that thing or achieve that thing. Sometimes we need to pray because we've done something not great. Yeah, we've maybe done something that's a little bit naughty, um, something we shouldn't have done. And so we might say a sorry prayer to God to say sorry for whatever that thing is that we've done that maybe we shouldn't have. And sometimes we might say a prayer just at the end of the day. And that might be a great way of kind of thinking about all the things that have happened that hot during that whole day. We might say some of these please or thank you or sorry prayers as well. But it's a great way to just, just before we go to bed, to say good night to God, but also to think about what we've done that day. And that's always a great way to do it. So next we'll look at where we might pray. So here's a few clips and ideas about places where you might pray because some of them might not be a bit unusual some of them might be ones that you already do but hopefully you'll get some new ideas to pray while you're traveling somewhere do you say? Amen. Oh, oh, amen you might pray while you're out getting some exercise some people find this a good place to pray might not be for you but it might be be 
you could play here at work or at school or wherever you spend a lot of the time of your day. You might just want to go outside so you can see God's creation when you're praying. Hopefully they gave you some ideas. You might not want to try all of them, but some of them might be quite fun. Um, so the next thing now we know about when we might pray and where we might pray is how do we do it? How do we actually go about praying to God? Well, one of the ways is this. You can just talk to him. You can say, hi, God, how are you doing? And talk about the things that you want to do. So you might talk out loud. Sometimes we might talk to God, but we might not actually talk. We might just talk in our heads. So we can just be walking down the road and have a conversation with God without actually saying any words. You can just think it all in your head. Sometimes you might want to write down a prayer. You might want to get a pen and a paper and actually sit there and write maybe a bit like a letter and write down the things that you want to pray to God. And sometimes that's a great way to keep that and then look back at it maybe a few weeks later and see, oh, did God actually answer that prayer? And it's a great way of remembering what you've prayed for if you write it down. You might draw. Sometimes you might just sit there with a pen and a paper and draw what you want to talk to God about. It might be about a situation or something like that. And sometimes just different pictures might come into your mind. And that's all a way of praying to God. Sometimes you might do it on our own. You might pray by yourself. Or you might pray together with lots of people or another person. You might ask someone to pray for you. If you don't think you can pray on your own, then you might ask someone to take that prayer for you. And sometimes it's really hard to know what to pray. And so one of the ways we can pray is by using the Bible. And really, luckily for us, God has put some prayers in there. So that if we don't think we've got the right words, we can use one of the prayers that God's already taught us. A bit like the Lord's Prayer. That might be one that you know, that you can just say those words and that is a really great prayer and then you don't have to think about the words if that's something you struggle with. So that's a number of different ways as to how we can pray and all of them are just as good as another. So there's no best way of praying and there's no best place of praying. There's no best time to pray. They're all great. So then lastly, just have a think about why we pray. A bit funny sometimes, we're like, why do we pray? Sometimes you think we have to pray, we've been told to pray, or everyone else is praying if it's something when we're at church, but why is it that we pray? Well, sometimes you just want to pray to, to tell God about stuff. Stuff that might, might have happened, or we might want to tell him how we feel, and it's just a great way of doing that. So that might be about if we feel really good or if we feel really bad. Um, we might be having a rubbish day, and you just want to tell someone, God is a great person to tell that too. Sometimes we pray because we want to seek guidance. Funny word. But guidance is just getting an idea so we just don't know what to do in a situation. Something might be quite hard at school or something like that and we're like I need some help and so we might pray to ask God what can you help me with this thing so we're getting some guidance from God and sometimes we just want to praise God. So we pray to say thank you for what great things you've done or thank you for this great world that we're in or things like that so we can just praise God with our prayer. So there's lots of different reasons as to why we might pray. But also God told us to pray to him. It's one of the ways he's told us that we can communicate with him. And so it's a really great thing to do. Hope you have a few different ideas about prayer. Hope you enjoy the prayer walk that Kat's going to take you on later um, and just have a little think through and join in with the activity. But it's been really great to just talk about prayer with you and spend this last week with you. Hi, Kat here. Thanks for joining me on my prayer walk. Sometimes when I go for a prayer walk, I like to pray for things as I walk past them. Other times I like just to get out in the open, away from the distraction of the house, and then I can really focus on God. Today we're thinking about God's faithfulness to his people and how we can be faithful to God in prayer too. When I'm thinking about prayer, a great place to start is looking at the Bible and thinking about how Jesus taught us to pray. In Matthew chapter 9, we've got the Lord's Prayer. So that's where I'm going to start praying today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I think it's really important that it says, your will be done. Not our will, not just what we want, but what God wants. In 1 John chapter 5, it says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. It's not just us demanding what we want, but it's more of a discussion with God, aligning our prayers with his will, and he will hear us. Lord, I pray that you would show me your will. I pray that you would help me to pray prayers aligned to your will. Amen. In 1 Timothy 2, in the first couple of verses, Paul says that he urges in our prayers that we pray for everyone in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives, all in godliness and holiness. So I want to pray for the people who are in authority in our country, for our government. Lord, I pray that you would give them wisdom as they lead our country, as they make decisions, that you would help them and guide them and that we would be able to live peaceful lives in our country. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, it says, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. I think this is a great verse. It's really encouraging. I can pray to God on all occasions. When I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm excited, when I'm nervous, anxious or worried. And it says I can pray all kinds of prayers and requests. It doesn't have to be big, long, fancy prayers. It can be little short prayers too. So sometimes when I'm worried, I just pray a really short prayer to God, asking him to help me. Or when I'm out and about in his beautiful creation, I can pray, Lord, thank you so much for your creation. It's amazing. Amen. Hi everyone. So today we're going to make a little hand um, prayer points with a prayer on each finger. You've got two options of how you want to do this. First of all, you could use paint and paint your hand. You could use lots of different colours or one colour and then stamp it on a bit of paper to make a handprint. Or what you can do is put your hand down and draw around your hand um, and then take it off so you'll have a little handprint. So that's what I've done here. Next, you're going to colour it in if you want. You can decorate it however you want. Be really creative with that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a prayer on each finger. So for the pinky finger, your little finger here, think about your needs yourself, maybe something that you're um, needing help with at the moment. Um, and then your next finger, you're going to think about maybe people who are sick or poor or not doing very well at the moment. Maybe there's someone in your life that you could write their name down on this finger. The next one, this, the tallest finger, we're going to think about leaders, maybe um, in government, in politics. Um, again, put someone's name down or a situation. Um, this finger here, your pointer finger, we're going to think about teachers, coaches, um, people in your life that uh, maybe are doing a sports session or your teacher at school. You could write down one of their names. And then finally, your thumb. Think about your family and your friends. Maybe write someone's name down that you want to be remembering to pray for who's in your group of family or friends. And then you'll have a lovely looking hand with prayers to think about and remember for the rest of the week and beyond. I hope you really enjoy making it. Thank you so much for joining us again this week. I hope you've had some fun. Quick reminder that this is our final video. So if you want to find out a bit more about what's happening for children at P's and G's, check out the website, which is linked below. But if not, have a fab week and we'll see you very soon. Bye.